Hey guys, it's Wes, not your normal miner here. Um, today we're going to do part two of our three part series on our electric over at our mining garden. Um, we've had a lot of great work done over here, so just kind of want to fill you guys in a little bit on, on what we've been doing. So here's our old electric box that we can see. This was a 100 amp meter box. Um, what we wanted to do here was we wanted to give ourselves 100 dedicated amps um, to our remote mining um, room, our remote mining garden. Um, originally we thought we could just put a sub panel off of this and things would work great. Well, um, old lines coming into our old house would not support 200 total amps. So we've had some electric upgrades here. So that box that you currently see was up here on the wall and that's what was feeding this residence. Um, you can kind of see up here we've got a little bit of a hodgepodge going on right now. Um, we're finishing up the work here. Um, but let's open up this box and show you what we've got in here. Alright, so we do have a dedicated, um, we've got five dedicated 20 amp breakers up here for our remote garden location. One, two, three, four, five. And they went ahead and they fixed up the rest of the house, so we've got all our breakers and everything there. Um, so this is pretty exciting. So what, you, what we'll show you here is we did go ahead and run our own dedicated lines. Every state's different, so you know, follow your own codes and those types of things. Make sure you please talk to your electricians and, and, and those guys so you can, um, you know, get things taken care of the right way. But we did go ahead and run five different lines over um, to our remote garden location. So we'll go ahead and take you over here and, and show you inside that room. Once we get in here, those five breakers, we've got one, two, three, four, and five. So we've got 20 amps. I know we can't use all 20 amps of each of these breakers, um, but we've also got over here on, on the back side in our hot box, I've got a few more places for some outlets. And that way we can plug in our fans back here and keep things all nice and nice and clean. We'll also be able to plug in our inline exhaust fans. Um, but these outlets back here are gonna go for all of our fans that we've got in the hot box. The reason we've got all these fans in the hot box is because we're gonna have all our miners sitting in here on these shelves so that'll pull all the heat off. But, you know, today we're talking about the electric. So we've got um, our electrician's gonna be back Monday um, or maybe even tomorrow and he's gonna connect our outlets here for us. Um, once we've got these outlets connected, we're going to be able to fire things up, so that's pretty exciting. We've got our 20 amp plugs that we're going to that we're going to bring in here as well. Um, so yeah, so so uh, in theory, we're going to be able to get at least 15 miners in here. Um, we've got some ASICs, we've got some GPU miners at, at our um, home that we're going to move over. We're really excited about about that, um, but we are going to have. Um, we're going to remove this fan and hook up one of our, um, or maybe even both of our, um, six-inch inline exhaust fans. So that's another reason why we needed some power. Um, we need to be able to hook this stuff up here. But as far as our electric goes, once these outlets are, are, are got the plugs on them and the outlets on the other side in our hot box, um, we're going to be able to bring our first miner over here. And I'm telling you what, I'm pretty excited about that. They have not yet switched over um, to the new larger line from our um, power supply company, our power company. Um, since the, the home above us doesn't really use much power, we're going to be able to fire these up. And we're going to do kind of a draw test to see where we're at. Um, it's winter here, so they may not end up pulling that new line until, um, until winter. But you can see... That's what they're going to have to update. We're going to need a little bit larger size line, um, but we are very excited here. We have five dedicated 20 amps just for mining. 
man, we've waited just about a year for that. So there's what we had. There's what we went to. Um, once again, I'm a big uh, proponent of doing things the right way. Um, would I have loved to have gotten all these miners over here and save a bunch of money um, from, from cooling costs and those types of things? Yes. Um, but doing it the right way, I'm in this for the long haul. Um, I'm not trying to make quick money today. I mine for tomorrow, not for today's prices. But we've got this electric here. They're going to finish getting that cleaned up. But we've got our new 200 amp um, box there. We're going to run you outside real quick. We'll show you that new 200 amp meter box and we'll show you where they're going to update that stuff. And that should wrap up our electric video part two of our three part series. Part one was showing you everything that they had here currently. Um, part two was getting in so that you could kind of see um, a little bit of the construction aspect of, of everything that we've got. Um, you know, so we did run all our, our lines over there like that. But let's go ahead and head outside. Um, we're gonna go stealth mode for a minute. But in my opinion, it is very important very very important to um, know power know what your miners are pulling um, when the markets are down um, you don't want your overclock settings too high gotta get that stuff dialed in just right but the big reason that we are updating our garden is to deal with the cooling heating and cooling costs so we do have here we've got a 200 amp meter box this is going to go up on the wall out here and we had to update from a 100 amp meter box to a 200 amp um, so that's something that the municipality is going to have to put in uh, but that's all right we'll let the big guys deal with that and then here's our current 100 amp meter box i'll go down into there and what we're going to have to do is they're going to have to pull us any line from here all the way over to that pole right there one of those poles right there so that'll be step three that's the last part that we've got to do but we're getting our electric updated here so I wanted to give you guys a quick update on it um, so what we've shown you today is us updating our um, 100 amp meter box downstairs to 200 amp us updating lines to our remote garden location five 200 or five 20 amp breakers dedicated just for mining uh, this is Wes I'm not your normal miner <laughs>